All right, I'm gonna try this build in video form as opposed to drawing a blueprint. Um, I'll start with, uh, I'll do it in sections. Um, it's the chair section here, and then there's the monitor and pedal section back here. I have it split right here. This is the double hold flat plate. Um, so imagine it in halves so you can disassemble it and take the chair section separate from the monitor if you need to move it. Um, this piece here, the floor piece, runs from this split to the back. It's two feet, 24 inches. Same on the other side. So I'm gonna just show you one side and then you just double it for the other. The whole rig is two feet wide because that's the MDF board comes standard two feet. So I just cut each piece um, for the width that I needed and left it two feet. Um, so with this being 24 inches here, the MDF size, which fits this chair exactly, is, let me find it, 15 and three quarter inches wide. So from here to here, 15 and three quarter inch, and that's three quarter inch MDF, um, which is pretty simple for this whole section because then the rest of it's all mounts. As you can see under here, I use like a half inch spacer, and then that's a three eighths lag bolt. I drilled a pilot hole into the MDF and I made sure that the 15 and 3 quarter inches fits really tight on the frame. Now for the more complicated monitor pedal section. The, hang on one second, I'm looking at readings here. I'm looking at measurements. Okay. The super strut on the bottom that runs from the split runs from here all the way to the back. That is one piece on either side. It's 36 inches long. It connects with a double hold 90 degree bracket to this main piece here. This is the upright. There's one on either side. Those are 40 inches long. Runs all the way up to the top. I supported it with this brace, which is the thinner super strut. As you can see, it's thinner than this thicker stuff that all of it's made out of, which is here. This piece here is 35 inches long. Now, this piece you could probably make longer and bring it up higher so that you can bring your shifter up a little higher or you could you can kind of mess with the way the shifter's mounted. Um, I could probably still do that, but let me get down here to the pedal board. Pedal board, it's actually pretty simple. I used a 90, 90 degree bracket, single hole, and I used a bunch of washers to space it for the angle that I wanted. Connected that to the brace, pardon my wires, right here. And the other end of it just sits loose and leans right on the floor um, rail. And it doesn't move at all. I have it really tight, so this piece doesn't even move. It doesn't even need to be mounted. Um, that piece is two feet by, let me find it. If I can find it, 17 inches. This pedal board is two feet wide by 17 inches. Those are the uh, Club Sport version 2's that I bolted on there. Whatever pedals you get might need different location. Now, the wheel board. This piece is two, it's, uh, two feet wide by uh, eight inches. I guess it would be two feet long by eight inches wide, whatever. Um, and this is key. These are the double, nine, double hold 90's. I use one up top and down bottom and then I sandwiched the board here when I initially built it I tried doing the one just the one on the bottom it had a lot of flex in it I put that second one in 
and it, this thing doesn't even move. This thing's dead solid. You can pretty much stand on this piece. Um, and then for the monitors, this is the half inch uh, MDF board. Um, and this is gonna be specific to the monitor you have, the size of these. Because my monitors, as you can see, are thick down bottom. So I couldn't fit it on a flat piece, so I had to cut it so that the thickness of the board can fit, you know, where the monitor is. Um, so I mounted those with the 3 8 bolts. As you can see, let me turn the monitor. As you can see those bolts there. And this here is a 4 inch door hinge. Uh, that, allows you, that allows the monitors to, to hinge like a door. Same on the other side. Um, for the shifter, this was kind of a kind of a bit of a cluster, if you will. I uh, <clears throat> if you kind of look under here, I just used a piece of the thicker stuff, and then used little nineties to brace it. Sorry, I gotta get my light back out. The little nineties to brace it, and then I clamped clamped it to the to the main upright and that's the G27 shifter so whatever shifter you get might determine the size of the of the mount I just bolted these through to the to the rail underneath um, what am I missing uh, real quick uh, how to connect things it's pretty straightforward um, when you're doing connections like this for the like for the uprights or for the 90s you know those type of connection goes through the hole in the super strut and then you just use a washer and a nut on the back now if you want to connect to the back side this stuff here kind of like how this is connected right there let me get my light out you have to use specific um, nuts that fit in the channel. See if you can see that. Those nuts can be spring loaded to fit in the channel. They come spring loaded. I pull the springs off because they get in the way. Um, and then you don't even need a washer and you don't need a nut. That is the nut. Um, so the way that things attach is pretty straightforward once you do it once and kind of figure out how to do it. Um, for these connections, I believe these were the two inch bolts going through. Anything that goes through the braces or like that. Anything that uses a connection like this in here where I showed you, where it just goes through a brace and then just the thickness of the one side of this. You only need a one and a half inch bolt for that. So that's all the one and a half inch bolts that I have. Um, as you can see from my build that these, uh, my bolt sizes aren't all the same because I was like experimenting with stuff, but I pretty much measured what you would need to build this. And that's what I put on the sheet. Um, what else? Am I forgetting anything? I don't think I am. I think that was pretty much it. Oh yeah, um, the build order, the way I built it was I built the chair section first and then I uh, attached here because it's you can't really get to the bottom of these um, once the whole thing's assembled. You'd have to tilt it. So what I did was I built the chair section as an assembly and then added the floor section over here for the back part and then built off of that. So then you can make all your connections on this bottom rail very easily. And then building it up is a piece of cake because everything's accessible. It's the only really hard spot to access stuff. If you can see in there, if you're wondering too, hang on one second here. If you can see in there, see how the bolts come through? Now this stuff, if you're wondering, this is the drawer liner. I super glued the drawer liner to the rails. So for one, it, it 
it grips the floor so it doesn't slide around not that it would because it's heavy but also um, doesn't scratch the floor I did that over here on my wheel board because this was kind of getting a little this edge was kind of uh, rubbing on my wrist it didn't it was actually irritating so this is softer this stuff here you can pretty much use it all over the place I cut it to size there glued it put it up here to kind of finish off the top so you know in case you don't bump your head you don't freaking split your head open on steel um, I also did make a little miter cut on this too I don't really know why just to kind of aid with getting in and out it's a little tight but the chair uh, this chair from Jegs is fully adjustable um, just like a car chair the seat back moves and the seat bottom moves uh, and I did use a small mouse I don't have a mouse board so I had to use it up here so this is like one of the small Microsoft mice it actually works really good though um, you could probably modify this area um, maybe build a board off of it put a mouse over here keyboard mount you can get fancy with just pretty standard hardware and I think that's it um, I use Acer monitors which have hard mounts I got them from Newegg I forget the exact model number but uh, I can I can get it for you if you need it let me know and I think that should be it everything else is hard mounted like I said you use spacers down here to get the angle of the pedal board right how you like it and you can kind of play with everything because there's holes in everything so you can move stuff around you can move the entire monitors if you wanted to move them down a bit, you can move them down. You, know, you could do, move them up. Um, the wheel board, I can't really move up and down just because of like my body size, my knees. If I moved it down anymore, my knees would probably hit the bottom of it. So, And I did hard mount my wheel. That's a light, too, for in the dark. Can't really see the keyboard. Got a little LED battery-operated stick-on light I put on under there. And I hard mounted that, I hard mounted the, uh, the wheel, hard mounted the shifter, and hard mounted the pedals. Alright, hope this helps guys.